Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. The next step is to assemble our cam gear to our camshaft. This is the first of many places during the assembly of the Aero-V engine when you'll be called on to use a torque wrench. So let's talk a little bit about torque wrenches. You'll need two different torque wrenches in the assembly of the Aero-V engine. Some of your torque limits will be in pound feet and some will be in pound inches. So you'll need a, a torque wrench that's uh, graduated in pound feet for some uh, operations and you'll need a, a torque wrench that's graduated in pound inches for some of the other operations. Our torque wrench that we have for this particular operation is uh, set to 20 pound feet. That's the torque limit for these fasteners that we'll use in our camshaft. So here's our cam gear. If you recall when we assembled our crankshaft, I talked about the timing marks on the crank gear. Those two timing marks on the crank gear will align when we assemble our engine with this single timing mark on the cam gear. So this is our timing mark for our cam gear. Uh, when we assemble our cam, we'll use this mark to line it up and then we'll use that same mark to assemble the cam into the engine along with our crankshaft. You'll notice on the end of our camshaft, we have a large slot. Now this slot ultimately will be uh, used to drive the oil pump uh, in the assembled engine. But right now we're gonna use that slot to properly align our gear with our camshaft. The way we do that is to take our cam gear and we'll line our single dot timing mark up so that it aligns with that slot in the camshaft. So you'll wanna align your three bolt holes in the camshaft so that the single timing mark is aligned with that a large slot in the end of the camshaft. When we line it that way, we know our timing is properly set. Now there's three fasteners that we use for this operation and we have to put a little bit of Loctite on those. For this particular installation, we're using the red Loctite, which is our high strength Loctite. The, once we assemble these, we won't need to take them apart again, so we can use high strength Loctite on them. And you just need a very, very little bit. Just a dot is really all you need on there, not a lot. So we're going to put our Loctite on all three of our fasteners so that we're ready to go. And we've got that. Get our camshaft. Find our timing mark right there. Align our timing mark with our large slot and we can thread our bolts into the uh, camshaft. Get them all started in there. And now these will be uh, torqued to 20 pound feet, as I mentioned. Uh, torquing these uh, will probably take two, uh, two people or some holding fixture so that you can uh, hold the camshaft while you apply the torque. Uh, it's a little bit more torque than a person wants to do with just their uh, bare hands. So uh, be aware that you may want to have a, uh, a helper along to uh, complete this installation. There you go, and once those are torqued up, the can will be ready to go.